Now to extra perspective on the released surveillance video from inside Robb Elementary, where 19 children and two teachers were gunned down inside two classrooms. Joining us is Robert Almonte, a former U.S. Marshal for the Western District of Texas from 2010 to 2016, which includes Uvalde, and Deputy Chief with the El Paso Police Department. Prior to that, he has more than three decades of law enforcement experience. You've been able to see the video, Robert. Thank you for taking some time tonight. What is your reaction to what you saw? Uh, you know, I, I don't think I have the proper words to describe uh, my reaction, at least not for your your uh, TV audience. A uh, roller coaster of, of emotions and anxiety uh, as I'm watching these officers in the hallway, anxiety waiting for some of them, or at least one of them, to, to make the decision to go attack uh, the shooter. And, uh, you know, I've received uh, active shooter training throughout my career. And uh, we're trained to go and take out the uh, the threat. And yeah, you're you're risking your life, but that's what we signed up for. That uh, we took an oath of office to protect life, and and I was very very uh, shocked to say the least, uh, disappointed, extremely disappointed. And I don't know if if again, I'm just and seeing all these officers together. I don't know if they were waiting for somebody to make the, the decision to let let's go in after them. And then especially when the officers showed up and they had ballistic shields and helmets on, they should have been at the very front of the line and then all the other officers behind them and just going directly to the classroom, doing whatever it would take to take the gunmen out and, and possibly saving uh, some of the 21 lives that were that were lost. And, in all probability, yes, maybe an officer or some officer would have been killed, but I mean, that's what we're paid for. That's what we're trained to, to do. And, and we're trained to take out an active shooter right away. You don't wait. You don't hold back. You don't set up a command post. You just go in and take out the threat immediately. And you do whatever it takes, even if you have to bust holes through the wall of the classroom, bust through the window, do whatever you need to do. But this subject should have been immediately overwhelmed from the get go. And unfortunately, that's not what happened. With all your decades of experience and all the training that goes into this and what we've seen since 1999 with Columbine and the way that active shooters are active shooter situations are handled, of course, as you've mentioned, the, the, the immediate uh, reaction is to go in and eliminate the threat. You have that many police officers immediately in there, at least three in, in the initial moments, and then several more in the minutes that follow. Plus, you hear gunfire at some point. What in your mind, I mean, how do you wrap your mind around this, that at some point not one person makes that move before 77 minutes? Well, that, that's the thing is that I can't wrap my mind around it. I'm watching it, and I'm just hoping one officer would have uh, made the decision to go in and I just don't understand it. I don't know if, if all of the officers were waiting for one officer, for somebody to make a decision. They heard they heard the gunshots. We heard them on, watching the video. You can hear the gunshot. This shooter is killing people. He's killing kids. Everybody should have ran towards that door and taken out the shooter immediately. I just can't wrap my head around it. I don't know what happened. This was a... Uh, uh, definitely a failure in uh, in law enforcement. Robert Amante. This is trained. Robert Amante with uh, 30 plus years of law enforcement experience. Thank you so much for taking the time and providing that extra perspective here on ABC 710 tonight.